Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship where both animals benefit. In this case, Senorita eats parasites off of the Garibaldi. The parasites living on the Garibaldi would be considered parasitism. In this example of commensalism, you can see algae growing on the shell of a top snail. The algae doesn't harm the top snail, and the top snail doesn't benefit from it. Human involvement can have different types of impacts on the marine environment. You can see here that this diver is surrounded by fish. The reason the fish are swimming to him is because it's very common at this site for divers to feed them. When fish see a diver, they expect food. When animals lose their natural fear of man, they tend to be more vulnerable to predation and hunting. These are purple sea urchins. They don't have very many predators, but one of them is the otter. Several years ago, otters were relocated from Southern California in order to preserve the commercial fish population. The result, which was unintended, was an explosion in the population of the sea urchins. Sea urchins feed on kelp holdfasts. Once they ate through them, there's nothing to hold the kelp in place and it floats away. This is the result of the overpopulation of the urchins. We call them urchin barrens. All of the kelp has been detached and is unable to grow back. It's never good to find trash in the ocean. But with glass bottles, we tend to see a lot of things growing on them and living in them. For this reason, we tend to leave them where we find them.